So welcome to Season of the Wish. This is the first week. I am really excited because the first week of the season is usually a lot of fun because we're exploring new things, looking at new stuff and whatnot. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges and 801 and the first portion of Eververse because we're going to be doing a separate Eververse video. So Wish Seeker 1, complete week 1 of wishing all the best. So this one took me about an hour and 30 minutes just because usually the first week is big with just a bunch of stuff to do. So, I mean, it's an hour. It's not that crazy. So just that it is what it is. Uh, a, a, the city a wish built. Complete Dreaming City public events, lost sectors, and patrols, blind wells, completions, grant additional progress. So, yeah, unfortunately... Uh, this season you will be doing blind wells. I uh, I say unfortunately because I feel like I've done enough to like I don't need to do anymore. I've done my time, but uh, Yeah, that does mean you're gonna see a lot more people doing them as well So you're not gonna have to do like tier one or two by yourself. So that is pretty cool. I guess uh, Silver blade acquire the swords in science triumph. I don't know what this means, but apparently a hundred sword kills and solar melee damage so just use a solar sword is what i'm getting from this uh, dragon's defender defeated com defeat combatants with solar weapons gain additional progress from solar rocket launcher final blows this one is not hard at all you can actually just do uh over here just do dragon's breath if you don't have access to the premium version of the season pass then obviously you're gonna go for something like apex predator that's a solar rocket launcher. If not, just find yourself a, a solar rocket launcher. That's going to be the best thing. If not, you could literally just do what I did and use literally any other solar weapon. It's just the fact that solar rocket launchers will give you bonus uh, progress. EDZ activities in the EDZ earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public public event and lost sectors. Uh, it's really unfortunate that they, they gave us basically two of these um i i would probably finish this one first just because it is part of the stuff for this season and then the eds and one i would leave it for later or if you're like me then you could probably just leave it for when um let me see this one you could leave it until the edz has a legend lost sector just because now we do get legend legendary weapons which is really cool and obviously the exotics but i would be doing this for the legendary weapons just because a I don't want to be doing the EDZ like lost sectors without getting a good reward because some of these are just kind of it gets monotonous after a while. So that's why I say you might as well do that. Um, let me go back to the challenges and then focused intention. Get final blows with weapons using primary ammo in ritual activities. Earn bonus progress for bow, hand cannon, pulse rifle or auto rifles, final blows or by defeating guardians. So this is interesting considering I was using primary weapons when I was completing the first portion of the story, so I don't know if it's bugged or not. I'm going to try to complete this in PvP. Maybe maybe it's bugged in PvE or something because again, uh shit. I, one of these stupid uh one of these stupid uh, bounties was to get final blows with your primary. So I don't know why I don't didn't complete that one or have progress on it, which is really weird. Relic. Okay, so I'm not doing that oh shit they put checkmate here that's right <sighs> yeah i'm i don't know i don't like the idea of checkmate being everywhere um definitely in competitive and in um in trials but everywhere i'm like i don't know man i mm, i don't know we'll see i definitely want to try it out before i start talking shit about it but that's pretty much it for challenges let me just remind you guys that with this season, we also got the same thing as Season of the Deep where we got these. We also have them here as well. So if you are interested, make sure you complete some of these. So that way you guys can get started on like focusing stuff because this is how you get the focusing for the weapons. So some of them are really easy. Just get all of the armor. And then after that, Wish and Engrams can be focused into individual pieces of high stat Season of the Wish armor. So if you want to get some... Uh, wish uh, wishful armor focusing you're gonna want to get all the armor which i'm already almost there i only need the helmet uh same thing for obtain any six uh, season of the wish or reprise undying weapons not hard at all and this one you get the focusing for weapons as well so definitely get some of these because they're gonna make 
playing this season a lot more bearable especially if you're trying to complete some of the stuff or collect some of these stuff um as for fucking ada i don't remember what she has off the top of my head that's right she has valkyrie zero this is definitely a cool shader granted i know it looks really bad because of the orange but if you lean into the black and red it is one of the dopest shaders in the game again you just have to make sure you pick armor that doesn't have that orange because again that orange for me just really kills this shader uh we have tangled rot rust this is going to be the shader oh wow it looks super cool with this wow almost gives off of like a like an indian look not indian but i guess you i hope you understand what i mean when i say indian but like native american kind of thing it looks really cool hmm uh tangled rust is the one that i usually go for if i'm going for like especially for armor specifically it has a really good like fucked up look for armor so if you want to have like uh like a guardian that's just been through it you're gonna definitely want tangled rust we have new monarchy uh oh god this is the orange one yeah the, no this is not the orange one this is the red yeah, okay never, never mind um i'll I'll show you guys what I mean when I say orange. I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, the Warmind version of New Monarchy. The season, or not season, but the Curse of Osiris one is pretty cool. The red is really good. And yeah, I think this one's decent. Definitely not better than the original ones, just because the original ones are way better. But definitely pick those up. As for the armor sets, it's going to be the Fallen themed armor from D1. I definitely think these are worth, worth a pickup. Let me actually just go to this so i can check out everyone else's because i don't remember the warlocks titans i remember it slightly just because i'm not a fan of a lot of them so hunters i think the helmet is worth picking up i think honestly all of it's worth picking up maybe the chest piece is the only piece that i'm like it's trash definitely trash because the chest piece the specifically the stomach doesn't change color but everything else is super dope and i definitely would recommend it uh titans helmet is pretty cool chest piece is definitely decent and that's pretty much it i don't like the arms i don't like the boots and i definitely hate the mark warlocks i think the chest piece is interesting i think the chest piece is cool i think did i say the helmet or chest piece I, the helmet is cool chest piece is interesting and everything else oh the bond is super dope the arms and the boots are the only pieces where i'm like they look super duper normal so like for me i don't really really care but it does look really cool and i would definitely recommend it so i definitely would recommend some of these pieces because again they are pretty cool as for Eververse, we're going to be looking at the stuff she's selling for now, and then we'll go into the Eververse video later. So Golden Age Wine, I definitely like this shader, but at the same time, I don't. It's really interesting because it looks cool with this, but it also reminds me of another shader. Uh, Princely Presence, this is a new shader from this season. Jesus Christ, my eyes. This is super bright. Uh, Box of Tricks. uh cosmos shell which very boring and then lion tamer for the other stuff really unfortunate because uh, i'll show you guys a bit here but we have four shaders that are being sold which is really annoying very annoying um as for the stuff at the bottom i haven't even looked at this yet flowing phoenix for final warning which is literally just a shader change um maybe the only difference is up here but this definitely looks like the same we have uh, roaring primeval which definitely looks cool mm, assembly stinger which looks very yeah uh scavenged shell looks so extra bro <laughs> uh sl slap fight mm -hmm. nothing to see here and then for the shaders nectar dynamo which i've never really liked this shader i don't like red i don't like the combination of red blue and purple i think they're not good uh butter bark i also don't like the shader at all it's because of the yellow if it wasn't for the yellow this shader would be such a banger uh, Neo Pop Wave. I definitely like this shader. I never use it, but I like it. And then uh, Chalcho Calco, Calco's Finery. This one's decent. Ah, this is actually pretty cool. I fuck with this one. 
so that is pretty much it for all of it again we're going to be going for, through eververse in a separate video just because that looks so cool oh my god hey wait wait this is uh oh my god uh, uh fucking that one raid i forget what it's called what is that raid called it's in yomuna root of nightmares that's a root of nightmares inspired uh ornament right there dog that looks really cool mm. so yeah we're gonna be looking at eververse in a bit we're gonna be going through pretty much what we usually go through the new armor for the season plus all of the other stuff for all the classes as well so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it i will have a lot of content for this season hopefully i don't catch covid again because that is why i didn't post any content last week just because covid really hit me and man the fatigue really fucked me up so I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.